the backbone of America's economy is its vast roadway system. Our roads connect people and goods from one end of the country to the other, and asphalt is key to facilitating that connectivity. More than 18 billion tons of asphalt pavement are in place on American roads. Asphalt offers a high-performing, strong, smooth, durable roadway service for the traveling public. Long-lasting, durable asphalt pavements are the result of collaborative partnerships between researchers, manufacturers, paving contractors, and agencies. These groups work together to engineer and develop optimal pavement and mixed designs, materials, and equipment to improve asphalt durability and performance. In addition, they engage in research and collaboration about best construction practices and techniques to enhance asphalt's performance. When striving to make asphalt pavements more durable, research and lessons learned show density is an important factor. As a very direct relationship, the higher we go in density, the lower we go in permeability, which keeps water and air out of the pavement structure to prevent moisture damage from a stripping standpoint to reduce oxidation of the binder that we've coated the aggregate with. From a stability standpoint, it, it, any mix is stronger to a point the higher density we achieve in place. The Federal Highway Administration directed an initiative to examine the impact of improved density on the durability of asphalt pavements. The study leveraged the collaboration between state DOTs, industry partners, and the National Center for Asphalt Technology at Auburn University. We're actually working on that now, We're working on some projects around the country uh, where we try to work with contractors to reach higher density levels and so that we can follow those projects and, and see what the impact in performance is. And we have found through studies that if we get uh, about a percent more density, uh, we can add 10 percent more longevity uh, in the field. So we can add a lot of years just by getting proper density in the field. Achieving proper density starts long before the paving equipment reaches the construction site. So density is a construction issue, and it really starts at the plant. It starts with making the mix in the right way, with loading the trucks the right way, so that you don't have segregation. You know, the, the big rocks and the little rocks are all mixed together real well, and when they get to the paver, you know, they come out in a nice uniform way. There's some things we can do in a lab to predict that. That'll tell us this mix either consolidates too quickly, it's going to take a, a little bit more effort and time to achieve um, adequate compaction in the field. So a lot of that again comes with really knowing your materials. Once the asphalt reaches the paving site, it's important the contractor follow best construction practices. From properly applying a tack coat to correct asphalt placement to appropriate roller operation, each step works toward the goal of providing optimal pavement density. And then it comes down to um, you know, good paving practices and good compaction practices by the contractor to make sure that, that they are using a good rolling pattern, that they've underst they understand how many passes it, it takes with the rolling train that they have uh, to reach the highest level of density they can. There's a strong relationship between the cooling temperature of the mat and your ability to densify the mat. So there's a, there's a range of temperatures behind the paver where you can go in and aggressively do breakdown rolling and achieve a, a, a big bump in, in density behind the screed. And then as the mat cools, you'll come in potentially with some intermediate rollers like, like pneumatic rubber tire rollers and, and knead the mat as it cools. And then you come back with a finished roller and take the marks out of the pavement. And you get, a, you get an increase in density with all three stages of compaction but the biggest opportunity to increase density is with breakdown rolling right behind the, the paver. Across the asphalt industry, new technologies help contractors deliver a high-performing product and ensure agencies make good use of taxpayer dollars. One tool to help monitor asphalt mat temperature is infrared scanning technology. That really gives us an opportunity. We know temperature is that critical factor in getting density. So if we monitor the temperature at the back of the paver, 
We know what the product is that's hitting the road. We know how closely we need to keep those rollers, where they need to stay to ensure that we get a long life product. There are also innovations that help improve roller operation and provide real time data to the operator. Intelligent Compaction has been a really a good add to our construction industry. We understand where we've traveled, where we've been, and where we need to go. So it is another important tool for our contractors to have in their arsenal to obviously achieve what we're all after. A survey of asphalt mixed producers found that more than 99% of the asphalt pavement material removed from roads and parking lots in 2017 was put back to productive use in new pavements. But how does the use of reclaimed and recycled materials affect the density of roadway pavements? So the use of recycled materials really doesn't impact density. When we put recycled materials into an asphalt mixture, the mix can become a little bit stiffer, but there are technologies such as recycling agents and using softer binders allow contractors and agencies to still get great compaction on a mix with recycled materials, which will lead to better performance and better durability. As the asphalt industry moves forward, partnership and clear communication among agencies across the country as well as between those agencies and contractors are imperative. I think it's really important that DOT specify their target. So exactly what they're looking for, whether that's a percentage of the uh, maximum theoretical density that's achievable or a percentage density of um, what can be achieved based on the roller pattern that's established through the test section. You want to make sure there's no lack of clarity uh, for your contractors as well as the inspectors that are out there on site. So that's one really important thing to write into and make clear in your specifications. Increasing asphalt durability and longevity benefits everyone, contractors, agencies, and the driving public. So agencies and contractors can work together to implement ways to increase density, which will increase our pavement performance and allow us to get more life out of the mix. For more information about asphalt best practices and emerging technologies, visit the Federal Highway Administration's website.